Hey, we're getting started doing some soldering on Audio Man. Welcome to Hack a Week. Yeah, so I got drawings here of the uh, first part of the circuit that I'm going to put together, which is going to be basically a dead bug style LM386 amplifier. That's what we're going to build today. That's the start of all of this, is the heart of Audio Man, which is going to be mounted right here in his chest. Just a handful of components here. Um, there's the LM386 eight pin dip chip, and then there are one, two, three, four, five capacitors and a resistor. That's it, and then a volume pot, of course, but uh, that's all there is to it. Really simple little circuit, and the whole thing is just gonna be free form with bare wire, dead bug style. So we're gonna build it here in the bench, and um, well, let me show you what I've got going on for my guide. So I think you saw this in the last video, basically the layout of the dead bug style LM386 amplifier. And this would be the view from the top. And uh, this is the view from the bottom. So I just took this and I put it on a little light table I have, traced it upside down, bass backwards. So it's a mirror image of the circuit so that I can work on it from the bottom. And I've got a socket mounted up here in the third hand tool. That's the way I'm going to work on this. I'm going to work off from the socket. Everything is going to come off from that. So what you see here is basically this socket. So that's my guide is that drawing. Let's get building this thing. All right, let's get started. I need some music.
So this is the power end right here, negative, positive. This is the input, also shared same negative. So that's the uh, positive for the input which is going to come from the 10k potentiometer up in audio man's head and then this is the output this side is negative there is the positive output so that's it folks let's take a closer look it's a circuit bug it's an lm386 amplifier okay so i just need to drop the chip in there and we can test it out because of course we need to do some testing awesome the test I've connected up to one of my pocket operators 9 volt battery powering things up let's hit play yes it works Right. Tiny little speaker with a crap load of distortion, but that's okay, you know, because it's just audio, man. Okay, so audio man has a voice. How about a closer look? Pretty cool. Nice little dead bug circuit. This is a lot like making jewelry. And um, over on this side, you're looking at pin one on the left. And I had to jump over pin, let's see, I went from pin two to pin four. I had to jump over pin three. That's why that piece of copper is bent the way it is. So there it is, nice little dead bug piece of jewelry. Let's flip it over so you can see the bottom. It does look like a bug. Now it's time to build the body in the next video. This is all we're going to get done today. So he has a voice. So I have about two weeks to finish up this project, uh, get it all together and um, document it all along the way, of course, and then get it entered in the uh, Hack A Day I.O. Circuit Sculpture Contest. Next week, I think I'll start building the skeleton. I'm going to start with the feet, and I'm thinking instead of just leaving them freestanding, I'm going to take one of the leg bones and just go right down through a little, a little board, mount him on a board. Maybe I'll mount them on an old printed circuit board or something. Um, something from a computer, a little teeny motherboard out of something, maybe. I don't know. Uh, that might be kind of fun. I could just solder it right to the components on there. And he could be standing on an old circuit board screaming into the sky. Um, so, feet will be first. Then I'll build up the legs, get up to the hips. And I got a really cool thing going with the, um, with the vertebrae. I got the batteries the other day. For those, what did I end up choosing? Um, these are LR44s, and uh, there they are. They're going to stack up inside a piece of clear heat shrink tubing. That way, I can give them just a little bit of a curve, like in the lower back, that little bit of a curve that's in the lumbar, and um, I can load them up into the actual skeletal structure. I'm going to make it in such a way where I can load them up in there and clip them into place with uh, the positive terminal up on the top. And the negative, I'm just going to ground right to the whole skeleton. So the skeleton is going to be like the chassis of a car or the ground plane on the circuit. It's going to be the ground everywhere. Um, so any place I need to tap into a ground it's already there on the skeleton. So like on the audio output coming from the LM386, all I gotta do is just tap into a piece of his skull somewhere for the negative side. Pretty cool. 
So uh, let's see, then I'll, I'll get that built and get the LM386 mounted in there, probably on the ground uh, connections. That's going to be what will suspend it in there inside the chest cavity. Then I can go ahead and finish wiring up to the head, build the neck, build the head, get all that going. So next video is going to be pretty much the skeletal structure, get the LM386 mounted. Video after that, we'll do the head, the speaker, and then the final video will be the rib cage and putting it all together. Um, I'm going to wire it up with uh, one of two things. I'm either going to use some insulated thin wire that I have keeping around some of this stuff, like this gauge. This is probably like 20, 24 gauge, 22 gauge wire, something like that. Um, I want red and blue though for veins and arteries because that's going to be what's going to run up to the head. I also have green and red um, magnet wire. So this is enameled copper wire. That might be kind of fun to run in there because it's really, really thin stuff. Um, and it's enameled so if it touches anything that's really not going to hurt anything it might be kind of cool. And it's really fine. So maybe I'll just use this red and green. It's Christmas! Well, I guess that's a wrap for this video. And don't forget, it is Nerd Thunder Month. There's the thunderclap. So this week I'm going to promote Becky Stern's channel. Right there, click that link right there. That one. And go check out Becky's channel. She does some wonderful projects over there. She's pretty crafty into all kinds of things. Electronics, knitting, uh, jewelry making, um, motorcycles, everything. And uh, she's great. So go check out her channel. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, me and the bug is going to be waiting for you.